Siberia is inhabited by some of the world's most incredible animals, but spotting them is really difficult. This part of northern Russia is a land of ice and snow and stretches across 4 million square miles. It also includes the world's largest lake, Lake Baikal. Humans find traveling in Siberia exceedingly tough. Its landscape overpowers both wildlife and humans. A reindeer sleigh is the best way if you would like to take the road less travelled by and get a better glimpse of the wildlife. The temperatures here are extremely harsh. They may dip to as low as minus 100 degrees in peak winters. However, spotting some magnificent beasts will be easier if you have a knowledgeable local guide by your side. These creatures have greatly evolved senses and are reserved by nature. Help is indispensable if you want to locate them. Siberia is one of the few places where European wolves still exist. Only 7,000 of them survive, and it's extremely tough to spot them. Wolves are strong creatures weighing 150 pounds and have great stamina. They can travel up to 300 miles per week for food. These rugged animals survive on their highly developed senses. Wolves work together. They prey on others as a team, and the food is shared rigidly in a hierarchical order. A snarl reasserts authority in the pack. Lake Baikal can be explored via a ferry ride from Irkutsk in southern Siberia. It is the deepest, oldest and most abundant freshwater lake in the world and contains an astounding one-fifth of the planet's fresh water. The Siberian bears wake up from hibernation in late spring and amble to the shores of the lake. A boat ride now will help you spot them. Here they gorge on newly born caddis flies. After the long winter fasting, this healthy food helps them refill their fat stock. Mothers of young cubs are suspicious of adult males, and hence they move their children away. Baikal seals, which are built like barrels and have large eyes, are unique to this lake. They are one of the only two freshwater species in the world. They can be spotted easily in the summer, when as many as 4,000 of them congregate on the Ushkani Island rocks to molt. It is nice to have someone to scratch your back. After all, that is what molting consists of. Finally, Siberia is also home to a rare species. A truly magnificent beast. The Siberian tiger is the largest cat in the world. They stretch an amazing 12 feet from nose to tail and weigh over 800 pounds absolutely jaw-dropping. They glide through trees unseen, camouflaged under their striped skin. However, it's in the snow that their magnificence really comes out. They can easily cruise through deep snow and are quite accomplished and impressive predators. Being the top marauder, they require a huge hunting territory as large as 360 square miles. The white, colourless world of Siberia gets its dash of colour due to these beasts covered in lavish and exquisite furs.
Indonesia is blessed with a number of tropical islands and is a land of fables and fantasies. People visit Indonesia to soak up the sun, but leaving the open beaches and heading inwards into the jungles will give you an opportunity to see some of the most extraordinary and magnificent beasts in the world. However, many of these species are facing extinction and are rarely found. Sumatra Island to the south of Malaysia is predominated by huge mammals. Your visit here may yield you the sight of a majestic great ape in the wild. It stays high up in trees and is named orangutan, literally meaning old man of the forest. To take a closer look at them, you can go to the orangutan rehabilitation centers in Borneo as well as Sumatra. These centers ensure healing of orangutans who have lost their habitat and parents to poaching and deforestation. These sanctuaries offer a wonderful once in a lifetime experience. You may also help to support their chores. The male orangutans, the jungle book's king of the swingers, have bulky bodies, yet they move through trees with a definitive ease. Orangutans have a menu of about 400 varied food items. During a childhood of about seven years, they acquire the ability to locate food in the wild, and their most favorite food is the sweet but foul-smelling durian, the crumbs of which are dropped to the ground to be found by others. The Sumatran rhino is a very rare species, and only about 500 of them survive today. You can catch a glimpse in the far-off Korensi Selak National Park. They roam about freely in these jungles and habitually return to the same spots. This makes them prone to hunters who desire their horns. But the most terrifying beast of Indonesia is found on the island of Komodo, a thousand miles east of Sumatra. It is a secluded and dry island, and its Commodore dragons have given rise to many a myth and fable and wild tales circulated about fire-breathing creatures. These 20 feet long and 300 pound heavy animals are the giants of the lizard world. You may spot them easily with the help of a local guide, but it's better to keep fair distance as their bite is fatal. Teeth are not the weapon. Their rancid bacteria-filled saliva is the toxin which kills their prey. They plan a surprise attack. They wait for their victim quietly. The bigger, the better. After attacking, they leave the victim to die slowly and then return after a week to feast upon them. In just 30 minutes, the Commodore can eat as much meat as its own weight thanks to its wide mouth. We can safely say that Indonesia is host to one of the Earth's beastliest biters. oceans converge at South Africa, home to a huge number of wild animals. The most exotic and amazing animals can be found in this pulsating land, often without you even looking. It is home to the five major safari animals. But the wildest of the creatures is just off the shore, in the waters. All kinds